Let's go with robbery, man. Robbery of 2023. All right, man. Look, it's not it's not boxing without a robbery, Chris. Like, <laughs> as disappointing as that sounds, let's keep it real. It's not boxing without some good old corrupt judges, Chris. So uh, there are your options on the screen. I'm sure you guys can mention many, many other ones. Uh, Band Dog Gage says something on stopping Rocha was upset of the year for me. Yeah, that was that was a big one. Uh, my day one saying Loma being robbed or Rayo. Uh, those were on here, Chris. Uh, lowest number of votes, Luven versus Ramos. Maybe not the highest profile fight that was on the Canelo undercard. Uh, you know, very good fight, two very good fighters. Uh, I, to the reason why I thought that was one of the bigger ones was, you know, Ramos outlanded Lubin by more than 60 punches. He outlanded Lubin in 10 out of 12 rounds, and they ended up giving it to Lubin. Lubin did the same thing Colbert did. He was talking trash. He was like, man, I, I boxed his socks off. It was an easy fight for me. He was talking trash. Uh, but like I said, on the punch stats, he lost 10 out of 12 rounds. Now, obviously, just because you got outlanded in a round doesn't necessarily mean that you lost it. You know, obviously, power punches count. Obviously, big punches count. Uh, but, you know, 10 out of 12, you got outlanded and still win the fight and still talk trash. 8% of the people thought it was Lubin's W against Ramos. That, that to me, was very shocking when... When they announced the winner, we have uh, 14% only, surprisingly, Colbert versus Valenzuela. Colbert getting dropped in that fight. Hurt throughout the fight. But, you know, he did have a lot of good rounds where he outboxed Valenzuela. Valenzuela fell asleep in a lot of those rounds. At the end of the day, it ended up being close. But, you know... With Valenzuela knocking him down, hurting him several times in this fight. Uh, I remember watching this fight with some friends. And, and you know, at the end of the fight, we we had all knew that Rayo had won, right? But we started joking around like, nah, they're going to give it to the other guy. Watch. Just, just jokingly. And once they announced it, boom, they announced Colbert as the winner. And we all looked at each other confused. And yeah, that was that was that one was bad. Uh, fourteen percent, thirty one percent. Romero, Romero stoppage versus Barroso. Now, Chris, man, like I said, I wish I could just play these clips so you guys can remember all these off the top. It looked like the referee was getting Barroso off of Romero. If you look, <laughs> if you look at that picture right there, it looks like Roly is the one getting hurt and stopped. Yeah. Look at Tony Weeks grabbing Roley, telling Barroso stop hitting this guy. Confused, Chris. I don't I don't know, man. If if you had to pick, I think, one fight where you would say there was foul play there. One fight out of the whole year, uh, I would pick that one. And look, that that was my pick there. That you guys could see it highlighted. I picked that one because I till this day. I can't believe that the referee Tony Tony Weeks to this day. I can't believe he stopped that fight. But anyway, that one got uh 31% of the votes. And of course, the high profile one, Haney versus Lomachenko. It had to be included on the list because it was, I feel like the most talked about fight of the year. People still talk about it now. When people are ma are making their pound for pound list, people are still pointing back to this fight. Uh, to me, uh, I'll save my opinion. But forty seven percent, forty forty seven percent of the votes, Chris. Now this is going to be a tough one to decide. Hmm. So did you did you give your pick already, Gio? I gave my pick. I'm going with Roli, Rolando Romero against Barroso. Uh, because look, like I said, allegedly, if there was foul play, they said, let's make sure this one doesn't go to the cards. 
<laughs> for real. This, we're not letting the judges decide this one. Hey, Tony Weeks, first moment you get, step in there, and we call it a night. Uh, I'm still shocked that that fight was stopped. Um, you know, bad judges, we see it, I feel like, a lot. You know, unfortunately, we're used to it in boxing. Like I said, it's not uh, 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 it's not boxing if there's no robberies, man. If you go to any event, any card, even the local shows, sometimes you're just, man, you're confused. You feel bad for whoever gets that short end of the stick. But this one was highway, Chris. No mask. They left all the fingerprints uh, in front of everybody. Didn't even give a good reason. It, it was bad to me. That's the one I'm picking. Of course, you guys see the one there on your screen that the people are going with. The vast majority, 47%, are going with Haney against Loma. I'm sure we'll be debating this one, Chris. Uh, give us your thoughts. All right. All right. So we got one, one vote for Romero Barroso. One of the votes from the audience is going to go to <laughs> Haney versus Loma. Uh, I think these are all great picks well, when it comes to robberies. Uh, like you said, uh, Haney versus Loma was probably the most mainstream, uh, most known of all these fights. And so a lot of people felt Loma won, and so they were climbing for robbery. But <laughs> I've, I've talked about this on the podcast before. I thought it was a close fight. could have gone 7-5 either way. It could have even been a draw. Um, I've gone on record to say that I thought Haney won the fight. I actually ended up watching this fight again just a couple of days ago, and I'll, we'll talk more about it uh, a little bit later. But, um, yeah, for me... That one was close enough not to be a rob a huge robbery in my opinion. The Lubin versus Ramos, I've said it in the podcast before. Um, Ramos disappointed me. I felt like he should have won that fight fairly easily. He's much bigger, much stronger, much younger. I don't know how it went the distance. I don't know how, you know, he let it, Lubin survive. Um, that's my take on that. For me, the two biggest robbers for sure, without a doubt, have been Colbert and Rayo and and Rollies yeah. versus Barroso and We've had Rollies on the podcast show before. Funny guy, good for boxing, entertaining. But man, what was that fight? I think, I think that fight had so much people, uh, um, you know, on social media talking. Like, what are we watching? What is going on? So many people started talking like smack to Rollies. He let Grandpa beat you. He still needed the help from the ref. He still needed the powers beat to, to bail you out. Um, couple with Cole, couple with Rayos, you know. Comeback win, I feel like this one stands out the most. So, man, Rollies was gifted a, a decision on this one. He looked so bad. He reminded me of a Wilder without fundamentals in this fight. It felt like he didn't train. It, it looked like he overlooked a, a guy that's like almost 40, I think, Gio, in Barroso, who was having a great fight up until that, you know, that disastrous stoppage by the ref. That one was highway robbery, man. So, for <laughs> me, that's my pick. All right, and there you have it. Uh overturning that Haney pick and look this is this is the sound effect that that's he, he doesn't get a clap he he gets the i mean you can't get a clap for that roly romero i'm sorry man that that was bad uh let's go to the comments here because a lot of people have really good comments here really good suggestions i'm sure most people would agree with roly uh but my day one says uh facts barroso was literally robbed didn't even get to finish uh sergeant says barroso was terrible as well roly didn't even hit him and they called it chris man like i said i <laughs> i still can't believe it man because if you look at that replay if you're watching in slow motion uh he was blocking a lot of those punches and i think barroso actually landed the harder punches in that exchange i mean i I'm so confused. That was wild. Yeah, it was an interesting year, Chris, to say the least. It was an inter interesting year. A lot of controversial fights. Of course, you don't believe... You you believe Haney defeated Loma. So, of course, uh, not not surprised that you overturned that pick, that, that voter uh, voter's pick right there, the third judge. Again, it was a close fight. Like I said, I, I saw the fight again. I saw a back because I, I sometimes I feel like when I'm watching a fight, I'm not re even though you say you're going to judge it, you don't want to really judge it. You just want to enjoy it. So when I see it back to the second, the third times, I feel like I was able to judge it closer. And man, I, I find it closer to Loma this time around. Again, it was a very close fight. 
you could judge it either way, seven five, six six, seven five for either guy. But man, I don't know. Looking back at it now, Lomo was looking really good, man. Really good. <laughs> uh, I I wanted to pick that as my robbery of the year. Uh, obviously because it's the 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 bigger profile fight uh, out of those. I do believe Loma won. I believe he was able to dominate a lot of those rounds. Uh, I believe you also got to take into consideration the weight difference. You know, Devin Haney weighed in 160-something against Regis Progre, reportedly. 160-something. I forgot I posted it. I can't remember exactly the, the number. And Regis was at 150-something, mid-150s. Haney much heavier than him. Just imagine how much heavier he was than Lomachenko on that night. And I'd say most of us still saw Lomachenko winning. However, I think you got to be fair and you always got to say, hey, look, man, when it's a close fight, it's difficult to call it a robbery. Um, I do think that the, the Ramos won. I feel like he himself, like you said, you were disappointed in, in him, Chris. I think he allowed lubin to win some of those rounds so he has kind of himself to blame for making it somewhat close uh i do think loma haney was closer than that fight so i don't think i i'm ready to call it a robbery i do think it was a bad decision i do think it was an unfair decision i do think lomachenko won like most of us but i think just a uh, role one was just so blatant just out there like I said, highway robbery. They didn't wear a mask. They they didn't even put gloves on. Fingerprints all over all over this. The evidence is there. I mean, that that was a disgrace. So uh it was a tough one to the side, but Roly, big winner or big loser, however you want to look at it. Mm -hmm.